Hi traders, welcome to our 80% OE case study today. This is the part 5 out of 5, the finale part on the strategy construction practical video series. So today we're going to be looking at step 5, the final step, and it's going to be on optimization. When should you be optimizing it and how should you be optimizing your strategy? This and more in this live trading session video. Hi traders, thank you for joining the Master the Markets team and supporting us in our mission to spread the truth of trading and help you achieve consistent trading performance. It is still an open here, founder of Master the Markets, 80 Traders Conference and the Traders Open Day. So traders, so today in the finale part, what we're going to be taking a look at is what we have been looking at the previous ones, right? So for example, on GPUSD, we have been teaching you a very simple strategy right which is a real life case scenario on the 80 percent open equity distance okay and how did we actually capitalize on that 80 percent oe basically means the distance that 80 percent of trades will get to and that is what all these tables tells you according to our smart money framework okay which is how this indicator has been designed by the quant traders back in the 1960s now, whenever the dot uh, appears, that's just telling you what the bottom or the top is. And based on that, it's just what we presented on the Society of Technical Analysis as well. You take a trade, which we looked at in our previous parts in based on our entry, stop loss and target rules as well. For those of you who haven't watched the previous parts, traders, highly recommend you guys to go to our channel, right? Master the Markets 2010 is the one. I'll open the link over here. So this is the channel, Master the Markets 2010. And once you come on to here, then you can go on to our uh, stream section. And over there, you can catch the previous parts on over here, right? 80% OEK study for, from one all the way to four. Today's part five, the finale part, okay? So that's how you can cap, uh, catch on but for today's one for those of you been following us sending us emails messages that you know you've been really enjoying this thoroughly so today i'm going to be looking at what should we be looking at in terms of the forward testing what really went in our real life trading scenario as well i'm going to show you also in transparency our results too so in real life scenario so you're recording all this trades right i mean uh, traders yeah so how much you're winning and all that this one i just showed you on the simple strategy you would have made about you know 150 pips 10 pounds a, a pip that would be 1500 pounds and you can do this on anything stocks indexes commodities anything you want right so we're going to be even running this on live bigger accounts on the challenge as well i'm going to be showing it to you all in real time as well going into next year exciting times but on this in real time forward testing what should you be monitoring right so let me go back to here so that's why we got over here on the first one here let me just show you that on monitoring your forward testing results, once you've got your rules and then you, you're going live in the forward testing, what should you be monitoring? Basically, you should be looking at two things, okay? You should be looking at two things. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and smash that like icon. If you haven't joined our channel yet, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications immediately when we post up quality content like this, and especially to get our live trading updates sent directly to your phone. Now, before I come into the two things, uh, let me show you. So for example, in 2022, when we looked at this strategy over here, this was the one I'm showing you, the three strategies we run overall in our live trading room, not just, you know, just typing in all these numbers, we're doing it in real time where we publish every single trade in real time wins losses everything transparently right uh, that's why we get invited to many talks and conferences around the world now over here then when we collect it all together you can see in this one here one day exit which i'm showing you in real time what are we really monitoring we are looking at the monthly drawdowns one thing okay how much drawdowns is it making now, in terms of that, we're looking at peak to valley drawdown, trade by trade drawdown, which I went through in our previous sessions as well. And also traders, one thing that traders do not look at, I'm also looking at profit potential too, right? 
as it exceeded our average profit potential because that could be used to adjust your risk on every trade going on. So for example, from your previous testings of 10 years, remember I showed you this as well on, in one of the sessions in terms of you know, all our testing over 10 years as well, right? You see over all 10 years, once you got all that testing and how much it has made in terms of profit and all of that, when you come back into real time testing, once it has gone past your maximum profit level, so for example, if on average, if it makes about, you know, 30% profit, okay, on that strategy, right? Whenever I hit that 30% mark above it over the last 10 years, which hasn't performed, I can do two things from that point. Let's say for this year, it makes about 35%, a 5% above your average, you know, net profit for a year over the last 10 years. What I can then do, I can do two things. One, I can reduce the risk on the trades taking on after that point, or I can decide to stop trading as well. So, you know, when you're really monitoring your forward testing results, you're looking at two things. One is your drawdown, right? Where is, uh, how, has it exceeded to, to know when to stop or to reduce your risk or to stop and review? Or the other thing, look at your profit potential as well. So as to retain your profits so to give it back. That's another thing that traders do, right? Once they've earned so much and they give it all back to the market, is it not? So by doing that, you can reduce your risk or you can decide to stop trading. Then you can go back into research mode, start getting ready for the next year onwards, okay? So these are the things that you can do. And these are the things we are looking for in monitoring our forward testing results. All right. So now the next thing is, however, you see 2022 was a smooth ride for us, yeah? But 2023 on that particular strategy, and remember everything that we teach over here is principles, so you can apply this to any strategy you want. 2023, however, if I zoom in a little bit more, wasn't that smooth for us, okay? Wasn't that smooth for us? If you look at over here, look, we had four months of drawdown, four months of drawdown, okay? And when we took a look at this, if you look over here, that's about 17.24%. Our maximum drawdown I show you over here, when you take a look, I believe it's it's on this one over here. When you take a look at strategy summary over here, look, for five currencies is about 7.26%. When we actually total up all the different instruments which we trade as well, in terms of metals and commodities and indexes, this comes to about, for 10 instruments, roughly about 14%, okay? Now, as you can see, in terms of our forward testing results in 2023, however, it exceeded that to become 17.24%, okay? So at that time, what did we do, traders? We actually stopped trading, okay? We stopped trading that. So that's one clue, right? So once it exceeds your drawdown, which you have got as a reference point, you stop your trading and you review. And that's exactly what we did. You go back to the drawing board. So the next point I want to tell you is you stop and you troubleshoot. Now, what are you really troubleshooting over here? Now, the main thing what you're really troubleshooting over here, traders, is what is actually going wrong, okay? What is actually going wrong here, okay? Why does my original framework of results not working? Why is it not reproducing itself? Because in our backtesting from our previous parts, which we showed you, which is, you know, it was showing an, at least an average return of about 20% per year without exceeding the maximum drawdown. So, but now why is it deviating from the original framework? Why is it not working? And what are the reasons for it? So when we went to review it, so if I go back to here, one of our 2023 results over here, right? Um, why is it not really uh, working? Why is this happening? And the reason is, if I go back to the charts, I'll show you in a minute. If you remember from the previous sessions, what we spoke about here, when we stick to the original framework, right? When we stick to the original framework, like for example, in here even, we put our stop loss all the way at the bottom. Okay, we put the stop loss all the way at the bottom. So let me just show you that in terms of replay mode over here. 
So let me just go back to the daily time frame here. Right. So here, if I go back to here, or even the last one that we had, my entry will be on the close. My stop loss will be all the way at the bottom. Right. And then I do 25 pips um, from there. So, but if I go on the replay mode over here, if you take a look, right, the thing is, traders, immediately went against me and I've not hit my uh, profit target, right? But you see, my stop loss is so far away. What will happen? There's the panic that it will come all the way down, eat up my profits and all of that, is it not? This is the original framework, remember, from our previous parts under the stream section, which I showed you over here under streams. Under here, we talked about this, right? And over here, we said that if you do the original framework, a lot of it will get to the target, but some of them will lose even about four to five times your profit. It'll eat up quite a bit when that one, 10% of them when they lose happens. So to avoid that, we wanted to minimize the drawdown, remember, and we did different variations. And we found out that uh, the one where we include time actually works. Exit in one day. If it doesn't get target within one day, exit it. But sometimes the doubt is, if you deviate from the original framework, are we restricting the way the market moves? That means, what are you saying now? That not only does it, must it get to its target, but it must get to its target within one day. Now I'm restricting its movement, am I? Even though the results look good anyway. From the back from the back testing for over 10 years for those of you who are unsure of any of the terminology or the concepts in this video watch our free trader starter pack five day video course as shown in empire cinema it is educational entertaining and covers basics and advanced content with cross transferable principles for trading and investments it pertains to both beginners and intermediate traders, all dedicated towards helping you achieve consistent performance. Go ahead and register for it on the link below. So this is one doubt that you can get and is it something that you can go back and review if it exceeds your drawdown, right? So that's exactly what we did in the review is that now that I changed the original framework, that means you must get to its target within one day, not give up too much room to move. Then what I what we then do is we review and see how the constant would have performed. Okay, is the reproducibility getting affected because the framework got altered and the framework is now too rigid to get to its target? I'm saying that you must get that to the target within one day or else cut it off. And my stop loss was a bit more tighter as well. For usually for the low of the bar. So you see, the framework has now got more tighter now, right? I'm not following the original framework like this. So according to this, this would have this trade would have lost because I would have got out in one day. But if I held on to it, even though it went against me a little bit more, hang, hovering around there, finally it gets to the target. Is it not traders? Yeah. So this is what we stop and we review because we've changed the original framework. So we go back and we review this, okay, in 2023, it's not reproducing, right? And it's exceeded its drawdown. So we go back and review and we stop and we review and we did this, right? With our team of traders over here. So we looked at all the different versions, you see, for all the eight instruments that we are trading, one day exit, and this is the original framework. With the original framework, look, uh, we reduced the drawdown by 4%. Still would have been a loss, still would have been less than the maximum drawdown of 14%. And then the other ones, what we then also looked at is um, excluding compressions, right? So we take our compressions and then this one, we alter the stop losses a little bit. This one was the best one, um, reduced the drawdown quite a lot to 4.85, but still taking the same number of trades. Over here, we then took a look at only taking phase one trades. That means in line with trend, and with momentum. Over there, the results quite um, improved quite a bit. One day exit, uh, 2.44, so very low drawdown. Of course, we're reducing the frequency as well. Expectancy was much lesser, so still outperforms this. Um, and then over here, MS3, original framework, look at that, that's 4.38%, okay? So this is how you review traders. The first step is ask yourself, what is going wrong? Have I changed something? Why is it not reproducing? 
these are the things that you need to do but you must know your maximum drawdown to know when to stop and how to review as well you must pull yourself out okay so this is how we did that and this is what i'm, I'm telling you over here in terms of constant the original versus the current what we've got plus the different variations and this is what we did in the review over here okay after this point after this point right so as i said just to reiterate so you review how the constant right the ms3 right which is the original framework versus the current which is the one day exit and the other variations have worked out for the year and then you reflect on your objectives apply selection criteria without altering the framework too much okay this is where you need a bit of guidance all right uh, for mentor because you need experience to actually see how to actually review it's not that easy this thing and then um as i said this is what we then went through excluding compression and all that and that's how we did it okay you need a bit of experience and guidance for this because it's not that easy to uh, do that all right traders and then you see once you've done that once you're confident and then after that you've seen the results on how it moves without altering the framework that much then you resume your forward testing and this is exactly what we did over here after the five months of drawdown and then after that then coming out of that then you can see in um, october uh, the drawdown is much more reduced and then after that going into october and november over here actually if you take a look uh, we did have but i'm not sure why the formula is not working so if you go on the one day exit over here it would tell you it did um, improve a little bit much more over here in october uh, and you can see all the results in october the drawdowns are much more improved as well uh, over here in october we kind of a little bit only small loss minus 0 0.11 but in november we did much much more uh, better as you can see over here right uh, 0.5 percent uh, without the last brent oil as well okay coming in uh, we'll sort the formulas out over here but yeah you can see how we stopped and reviewed and then improved the results and making it a bit more reproducible and consistent the other two strategies are much more better this year on tsl primary 12.25 and 8.86 on uh, lift off consistent execution is very important you can see in october and in june was 20 percent lift off um, strategy much best months every single trade we keep tracking it all over here traders as professionals you need to do that i showed you all this in the previous uh, videos as well okay that's how we have done this and that's how also you can see in terms of forward testing we use the same principles traders also to run live accounts proof of concept here on this one here on the fx book where we publish our results on real accounts here's a, a proof of concept account over here on a very small account on two thousand pounds we run different different accounts before we run it live on bigger accounts like a hundred grand a million five million and all of that so all of before you do all of that just start off on a proof of concept account over here you can see that we are up 31.74 percent after minusing swap charges commission charges uh, from its gross gain of 32.76 percent um this is done on a very small account 1498 about 1500 uh you can see it's a real account track record a verified trading privileges um, verified as well on fx book not just fx other instruments as well you can see also all the whole summary uh, trades over here history uh, you can see all has been risk managed properly here as well now here again we did the same thing we ran it first on a few trades nice quick steep rise over here in the first month that we started great happy days but after that we lost it back look at that right it didn't start to hold it and this is exactly what we um, did not want in terms of equity curve that's why it's very important to be very clear on what your equity curve should look like what we all want as traders as professionals is an equity curve where its last value is not taken out before it rises up again so we went back to a drawing board at this point onwards and then we tweaked it a little bit looked at it what we can do to create this curve over here and then that's what you're seeing in the later half of it where you see uh, each value did not get taken out its previous value did not get taken out consolidates didn't take out its last bet value and kept on going up further okay that is what you exactly need to do and that's how we are producing this in 
real time. Now you can see this 30% traders that you can also do. You see, the beauty of trading is what? Whatever that you do on a small account, once you scale it, you can do the same thing again. So on a 100K account, that will be 30,000, right? On a million account, that will be 300,000. That's how you go towards your freedom, isn't it? Of time. Freedom of time is the most biggest priceless thing, is it not, traders? So this is our real time trading as I'm showing you how we actually think like a professional. How do we analyze it? How do we come out of it? That is the skill that you need to learn, not just running up the strategy to just work and then you don't know what to do when it breaks down, right? So that's how you need to build your skill as a professional. Now, I guess that's mainly the things what I wanted to um, tell you in terms of the forward testing, what we are doing in real time as professionals. Now, for some of you who have been already emailing us and messaging us and asking us these questions is, how can I get this SMI framework and I can put this to my own strategy? You can find out more on the Smart Money Framework on SMI and VSA.com. Okay, you can go on to there. I can just put that on for you, www.smiandvsa.com. And over there, traders, you can then find out more about two of these indicators, price and volume working together. You can read up all about it as well and how do they, how can it all help you, okay? So I'll leave you guys with that one there. And that brings us to the finale um, session for this 80% OEK study, okay, uh, video series, all right. And our future streams will do more live trading. Now you've got under the stream section, you can follow us on our Master of the Markets channel, or Master of the Markets 2010, because we've been going on since 2010, okay? And you can do that. You can look at all our previous streams as well, but I highly recommend for this one, if you want to go and revisit, look at the 80% OE case study, okay? Right, or those of you who want to go and uh, think about the Smart Money Framework, get hold of it, that indicator, which is based on the Smart Money Framework, go to SMIN vsa.com all right traders i guess that's pretty much that uh, i guess i've answered most of the questions only one question that's come up is basically on the email and messages is on the original framework what do you actually do why do you give so much room for it to move why do you give so much room why do you place your uh, initial stop loss so far away the reason is because i have answered this before is remember don't get too um, boggled down by the stop loss being far away this is to give it room to move right uh, and don't think that you know the the reward is so small because that's called expected reward to risk ratio what you are really interested in looking at is actual reward to risk ratio because traders the actual reward to risk is what puts money into your bank account isn't it money into your pocket the actual, this is just to give it room to move. Because all this that you're seeing here, yes, it will show us unrealized loss, but it's not realized yet. So after it does this dance, as what one of our US traders calls it, right? After it does this dance, it moves towards the target and you would never see this unrealized loss on your account statement. Would you know? When, when you look at this real transparent result here, you won't see that here, right? What you're seeing, 31%, you won't see all those unrealized loss over there anymore, okay? So that's what you got to be um, careful of. Look at actual. So this is just giving room for it to move, all right? This is just on one strategy. Remember, you can design so many more. We've got ones which will run much more longer, bigger reward to risk and all of that. But here are the principles what we wanted to show you on this uh, case study and how we troubleshooted it, how we came out of it, how we're publishing this in real time with confidence and conviction. All right. All right, traders, I guess that's pretty much that from me on this um, video over here. And as we always say, till the next time, stay disciplined, follow your trading plan and keep trading like a master. If you want to get notified every time we put a video out, especially on our live trading update videos, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications icon. This will get the YouTube elbows to kick in and for you to join us in our mission to spread the truth of trading further so that traders like you can benefit from our videos to trade like a master, achieve consistent performance and change lives.